Holy moly, we have nine fan factors. That means we rolled a three on our uh, uh, dedicated fans roll. And I am pretty sure my opponent has less than that. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Block tackle. No, I think this is is this short hands? I think that's short hands. It's either that or strip ball. It's strip ball. And then three wrestle pieces. Okay. We all receive the ball. Uh, I am going to turn on all the skills here. Because otherwise I'm going to confuse the runners. How many of these dudes are niggled? Not that many. Oh, they bought two extra wandering apothecaries. I don't think I'm going to injure that many players, to be fair. Because I do have a lot of block, but I only have two Mighty Blow. Uh, they have they have more, though, just in general. But their uh, Witch Elf does not have block, so this might be, might be the early Blitz with our block mighty blow player Nine month. Thanks so much. Uh, welcome back to Sage Primers. Yeah. Treacherous Trapdoor. They did have a shield leader, so that's something. Um... Well, let me start with this. Uh, okay, I'm going to stay put here because I had plan to move this guy into here if I can. Nice. I have to click something else because of the bug. Okay. Um, oh. Well, did we get something? Mighty Blow did a thing. Uh, that was our first stun, and probably only stun. Oh no. Okay, good. It didn't scatter further forward. Because if it had done, I think these guys would have been in range. Yeah, if it had gone up here... They would have been in range, and that would have made me uh, really sad. So they, they do have a one die here. Um, 
I'm ba I'm basically basing here because I want to see if tentacles does anything. It's unlikely because it's only strength four, right? And this is actually, yeah. So they roll it. They roll a d6. Uh, roll a d6 plus strength. Uh, minus the th the strength. So they roll a. So let's see. They roll a d6 plus. Wait, hang. Let me read that again. When an opponent tries to leave the square mark by this player, roll a d6 plus strength of the player minus strength of the opponent. On a roll of 6 plus or a natural 6, the opponent remains where he's at in his move ends. Hang on. So, wait. Do they only... I'm... Hang on. I have to read this again. Because this is... It seems like everyone's stuck forever. You, oh right, I roll a d6. That's, that's, that got me so confused. I was like, they roll a d6. So basically, I roll a d6 plus one, generally. Uh, and if I get a six, so one in three times, they get stuck. Uh, now, trap door. For this half, as, as soon as on a one, yeah, so we can, we've got a lovely raid from Kala, thank you so much. How was your games? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, heavily considering a trapdoor surf. Let's do it. I think I need to do that. Oh, well, the ogre keeps stunning him, so that's nice. Oh, this is my... Two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, we're happy with that, I think. see what they want to do here um because i feel like they're like okay maybe maybe mm, like clear assume you clear this one two three four five i mean it's it, it's needlessly risky and i don't think it's like necessarily worth it i mean, probably worth it this guy just went here i think they could have you know, blitz this out of the way and place something here if they wanted to, but it seems like they're 
fine with they're trading more hits than i expected a dark elf team to want to do but then again they're the same armor as most of my team so i guess it makes sense in that regard wait did they wow okay did not get punished but they chain pushed into a uh, into one die. They could have just gone here instead. I don't think they get anything by having the witch elf be here instead of here. But I mean, I got a free one die that worked better than expected here, so. Hi, Nimi Blob. Okay, let's see. Actually, you know what? We are gonna... Let's, let's do this angle for a bit. Because I feel like I'm the ogre. I might miss some of the dark elves here if I don't. Okay. I knocked down for Ripsaw. Luckily, he's just stunned. Okay. Oof. The fact that this guy stunned is not good. Change my mind. Uh, this is not very good. That's pretty good, though. Oh, and we got a KO out of it. Uh, this is the problem here. Oh, wow. Okay, that is super lucky. Let's see, if I stay put here, it's... It's one, two, three, four, four, five. Yeah, okay, we're, we're staying put. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. They can still do that quite easily. Uh, I don't think I can use the over here. Because we got two stuns here, we're not in a great position. But also, we do wanna, we managed to get a KO. It's pretty, it's pretty yeah. decent. All things considered, it also doesn't affect the uh, Wandering Apothecary. The other way? No, then I'd be playing towards the right. I don't like that at all. That just, that this just feels weird to me. But I think this view is kind of more telling in how how poor my my position is. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Yeah, don't, they don't even have to dodge here. So, so the the reason I stayed put is because I wanted to. If I went here, this guy would have had free movement to come help out. But I guess that matters less 
right? Because this guy just gets to do its thing and then I drop the ball. Out there. Okay, I mean... I think this is one of those other things that probably indicate they were playing against a less experienced coach because I would have I would have strip balled the heck out of that. They have three rerolls. Easy peasy to do. Uh, this does not get them as many things. Oh, that's not good. Um... It's also not horrible. We'll take the badly hurt. There we go. Oh, I have to choose a player too? What the fuck? Why? Why do I have to do both of that? That makes no sense. In case it wasn't clear from the UI, it asked me first if I wanted to use tentacles, and then it asked me if I want. Then it asked me to select a player. But since I only have one, it makes sense if you have several tentacle players. But the game should be smart enough to recognize that I only have one. best want to do that. I think I do it this way. stun out of that. Ha Oops. Nope, you stay put. Not what we wanted. That's fine though. Um, okay. Nice. Uh, mistakes were made. I have to follow up here. Don't dare to reroll that. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's see how far we get. Holy shit. Yeah, we're still in a pre like this is a pre shit situation. Um It's a classic where it feels like there are more elves because they can easily free themselves and I have to run. One of my players are Missy holding onto the ball. Okay, that's them failing the first one in nine. Okay, now that's gonna be a frenzy trap. Let's see if they reroll that. They did not. Okay. 
And that, of course, helped out massively. I'm going to reroll that. get rid of some more of these eggs. Now the big question here, I think I'd rather do this and then move this guy over here. Nice. Can I? Thank you. go nope Let's. Nope. we're not uh, breaking much armor but they are all on the floor oh they rolled a one we rolled it. <laughs> Look how many apples they have. <laughs> I didn't realize the wandering apples also showed up as models. Who's this guy? I don't have a guy like that on my side. Goblin is assistant coach. I see. another reason for these models being visible as a thing being bad for the game because it means it's like yeah sure this is a cheerleader you can kind of understand that that this is an assistant coach how do you how do you figure that out unless someone tells you or you buy an assistant coach and you recognize that it's there oops i'm gonna that's what i want to do i, I want to turn on cat cat because it's acting now. There we go. Okay, it's turn six. Uh, that I don't. Oh, come on. I really wanted to surf this, and now I can't. Okay, um...
Okay, so that lets us do this. Oh. So that's turn six. I think we're in a fine position here. Because we got a stun. <laughs> Fort Path, seven month. Thank you so much. Welcome back to subscribers. I don't, I'm not sure I see how the dump path looks like a penis, to be honest. I mean, you have to use a lot of imagination, is what I'm saying. But maybe. Watching in 360p helps. Fair enough. I'm actually not even sure what resolution I'm in currently. Uh, I am in night. Yeah, okay. I could run at a higher resolution than this, but it lowers the UI elements, I think, or makes them smaller. And since I'm streaming in 1080p because I'm not an idiot, um, I'm also running the game in 1080p even though my monitor is uh, higher resolution than that okay uh, let's see let's start here No, 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 no. Uh, we're actually going to go up here. Because this guy shouldn't be able to get around us. Let's see if this guy wants to move here. Nice. Okay, let's see if they can get around. Yeah. We've done so little damage, but at least they, they haven't actually stolen the ball from us. And admittedly, they have spent most of their inducement money on the wandering apothecaries. So 
any damage we would do would also very likely have been apoed. So maybe it's not as bad as it could be. Okay. So you have one assist on the chosen blocker. So far, Tentacle has proc twice, but hasn't done anything. If I recall correctly. Might have done um, proc three times. Hasn't done anything. It's the main takeaway. Okay, here comes the Blitz. Let's see who they're actually Blitzing. Okay, they are Blitzing Smash Down Fist. Managed to knock Smash Down. They only have one GFI left. That's in two tackle zones. They need something here, right? Otherwise, they just go one, two, three, four, five, six. And they do still need to uh, tie up Smash here. Yes, I would like to use tentacles. Uh, yes, I would like to use tentacles. Holy shit, it worked! See, so how far could have you gone? You went from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Might have been the best course of action, but I could also go this way by clearing this and this and then blitzing through with this, for example, I think I could have gotten out. You also still have this guy, of course. So that's not good enough. I think we just do this. I don't think there's any reason to try something else. Yes, we got an injury. It's probably going to be apoed, but still. Oh, that's a broken arm. Yep, it's a badly hurt, so coming back. No, 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 we're not. That's more than enough. everyone 
yep. So they still have a full team. The KO guy came back. The the problem the problem with uh, I I find with tentacles in general if you pick it as as a mutation right is that even if even if you place it next to um, uh, to like strength two players or your player has strength five yeah like it's it's likely to work but it's it's more likely not to work so it's never it's never something you can use as a guarantee for safety it's always just some added bonus on top um whereas you know if you had 10 uh, or uh, tackle on a player right they would have you you can say well dodge is never going to work because i have tackle which which is a lot more reliable when it comes to setting up uh, a defense or or a specific offensive drive than just being like well this is unlikely to this is likely to work one in three times um, but I think that also, you know, that's true for, for a fair many skills. To be fair, two plus dodge tackle only works one out of six times. Yeah, that's, that's definitely true. Like it's not necessarily bad. It's just like from a just from a planning your strategy perspective, I I like uh, the knowledge on my end on what I'm uh, removing um, or what I'm setting up is more reliable based on what it's doing. It's not necessarily that my opponent can't still succeed. It's just that I know for a fact what what I'm stopping. Okay, well, there's a prayer to Nuffle. I don't think it does anything, right? No, because it's specifically for this drive, and it's for my opponent, and I don't know who it is. I don't even know how to tell who it is. I don't think. Let's find out. Just remind myself. No, they yeah, they they won that. So Is it wait, how am, am I misreading it? I might be. If one of your players you're right, so it's all of them. Right. I'm so glad that the prayers and nuffle are consistent in what they do. In that it sometimes affects everyone, and sometimes it affects uh, only one player. Hey, Andreas Lind. Okay, good news. We are back in business. Actually, I think we're doing it this way. Oh, right, one of my wrestle pieces are... Doing the classic anti-elf setup. Keeping the um, blockers on the side, mainly so that they can't blitz down the corner. They have to go through, through us. Uh, we'll see how this works out for them. We'll also see how much dump off they're planning to use here. Okay, she's a kickoff square. Oh, we don't have kicks. It's always going to be in the middle. Let's 
That's a decent side for us, because it's the side where we have Ishibold Steel Girdle. Also, both our Ogre and Beefcake McStevens is able to be free. Oh, oh, that's very good. Because it's one of those. They had four rerolls, now they're down to three. I'm guessing they got an extra reroll? Yep. I'm not I I'm I'm not really understanding this movement here. Can I not just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. The only thing I'm thinking is that they're they're planning to do a dump off. Now it's harder, right? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I have to do dodge as well. Oh. Oh. They did not reroll that. Okay. Okay, well, let's see if we can do this. Wait, we don't do it that way, we do it this way. Wait. What the? Oh. May the Nuffle feel democratic today. Hey the cows there. Welcome back to subscribers. Okay, well that was that was an interesting maneuver. Like uh my opponent rolled a lot of ones that turn, right? He rolled a one on the pickup. Then he rolled a one on the dodge. And then double six on the injury. And then rolled a one on the quick pass as well. That's of course still not enough, right? Because I've I've these in the back, so they can't actually run away from me, which is nice. I mean, with that said, they can if they manage to get a lot of dodges. They can of course get around. They have this, this, and this, but they keep rolling once. Okay, down to one reroll. Oh, and that's a uh, down to no rerolls. Holy shit, that's... My opponent's had two pretty horrible turns when it comes to die rolls. And they did it again.
So I'm taking all of these blocks first so I have more pieces I can I can move around. Cuz I'm like I'm going to get to here if I don't fail any of my rolls. I don't think we, I don't think we activate these. I'm not even sure what the, what the point of the GFIs were. Cause even if they made it down here, uh, Hadwick could do a two die blitz. Like I get the idea that scoring quickly is the way my opponent wins right and then they steal the ball but i think it's very unrealistic that they run they like they run it down and then don't do anything because they i guess they could have ra they didn't even need to potato it though right oh it's no it's it is their turn It's weird that this is active for me when it's not my turn. I mean, they were in scoring range before, right? It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So they fell on their second GFI. But they were in scoring range on their first GFI. And I guess they were technically in scoring range without GFIs because they could have done the GFIs here if they wanted to. I think it's just one of those games where my opponent has played a certain amount of games and the build of the team is kind of, uh, it, it, the, the team build makes sense, so my assumption is that they're a more experienced coach than they are. Because looking at the plays that they've made, they haven't really been... I don't think... I think most of the plays we've seen this game from my opponent has often not been like... the. It's been an okay play, but it's never been the best play available to them. Like, in the first half, they had the option to, to blitz uh, Mr. Hadwick with a strip baller, and they didn't take it. Uh, I think this means we try and get it to Beefcake McStevens, right? That's not what I wanted.
Okay. L let's do this. And let's use a reroll on that. And we got it. And also, Skoy! 36 months, 3 whole years. Thanks so much. Welcome back to Sish Rounders, dude. Uh, go here. Stand you up. Under the assumption that my opponent is a newer coach and will not surf my wrestle piece. Now please watch as my opponent surfs my wrestle piece. Having other people's streams open when you're playing open book turn-based games makes it... Yeah, I can see that. I can see it'd be hard to uh, do both. But it's also like watching someone else stream a game you like is uh, probably my... That's when I'm most keen to actually <laughs> play the game myself. And the flip side of that, of course, it's so nice when you're watching Rick or someone else play and you're like, it doesn't go great. And you can be like, well, uh, I'm just going to uh, nope out of the stream uh, right now and go do something else. <laughs> you don't have to deal with it. <laughs> Did we tell him? Let me, let me remind myself here what we said about... Uh, all right, we, if we actually score with Beefcake McSteven here, you guys get to vote on what we want to do uh, with that player. Right. So first of all... Sad. Also sad. Uh, stay put. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I should have placed him there. That was stupid. Oh, well. in there. Okay, good. Just stay put. Because otherwise, well, I could have maybe followed up there actually. No, this will be fine. Um, Nice. Breaking some armor. Having a nice time. Uh, there is a, there is an obvious hole here, but it's dodging into two tackle zones, and it's a blocker that's holding the ball, so it's two die uphill. Hello, R. I 
Okay, so they were one die on my on uh, the long-legged uh, blocker. Oof. And they're already out of rerolls again. That's a big bummer for them. Knocked him down on the second attempt, though. Not bad. Oh, wait. I have to do it this way, which is not the way I want to do it, but it's a safer way of doing it. Go! Got rid of that guy. They can surf this if they really, really want to. So I should go here, I think. So it just makes things slightly more annoying for them. So they have two out currently, right? So they're down to nine, is that correct? One, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. My girlfriend is really cool looking at the moment, by the way. Oh, do you want some keys? Hang on. Okay, let's see what they're up. Uh, let's see what they're up to. Oh, yes, I want to use tentacles. They failed their dodge, so it doesn't matter. I guess it matters in the sense where this guy falls over. I I see that they did not. Try and go for my, uh, for the circle. I guess we're on the floor. Nice. Okay. Let's see if the ogre wants to move. Oh, he does. What a nice ogre. Uh, I can reroll that. I think I'm I think I'm selecting players too quickly and that kind of messes up the the clicking here since the latest patch.
Tentacles! Uh, oh yeah, they are like, yeah, purple and dark red, just a 50-50 split. It's not, I mean, it's not great, but at the same time, I feel it's very, like, it's very dark elf in its color scheme, I guess. What the heck just happened? Also, why do they want to blitz that? Hello, ogre. Do you want to move? You do. Very nice. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it didn't go. Very sad. Should have just gone for both down. Maybe we'll get something sweet here. Well, it's done. Oh, go KO. Okay, let's see. Holy moly. I don't know if Frenzy did anything, but I feel like he might have done some stuff. We have another victory. Still think the results of the armor breaks better communicate in bubble two. Um, there's definitely some timing on the animation and stuff uh, needed, and I'll be honest, I still prefer the uh, the old Blood Bowl two uh, dice log that's down here and like always visible. I think this one is. Yeah, I guess it kind of tells you more stuff, but. I think there are also, you know, there are better ways to display this dice log. Um, like, the fact that every, it's a new line for everything, and you mention the name of the player every time. Why not just have, like, this player, and then you have a square for what that player does? Uh, but maybe there's something there that I'm, I'm missing. Um... Uh, I'm just gonna go score now. We did it. We won a game. So that means I am going to update the match stats. There we go. Game details. We won, so we don't have to, we're not gonna lose. Uh, we got 85k, very nice. SPP. Uh, Narathotep got the MVP. Very nice. Beefcake with Stevens. Touchdown. Mr. Hadwick. Touchdown. Rips or Rooney. Our one injury. <laughs> so. What has that done for the votes? Uh, I think this is. Let me get the list up here. Yeah, so for Ripsa Rooney, it still needs two more to get to 18. Bort needs six more. Bust Aldrin needs um, uh, 10 more. Near uh, Thotep uh, needs 
three more, actually. No, I lied. Needs uh, seven more. Um, Mr. Hadwick, what are you at? You are at uh, another primary skill here, so you we get to vote on Mr. Hadwick. Um, and uh, Beefcake McStevens, right? Yep, 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 yep. So we are gonna do that, and then we'll uh, be back and let you uh, let you know the results, YouTube. And I can unpause for YouTube to let them know uh, that uh, we are saving SPP for Mr. Hadwick and B Beefcake McSteven is now our second block guard uh, chosen blocker. Feels really good.